Hello guys. In the previous lesson, uh, we have learned about the how we can establish a transfer function model of the spring, damping, and mass system parameters in MATLAB Simulink. Okay. And so, in this lesson, we will focus on how we can create the state space representation of this function model okay in order to create a state space representation there is some block in the simulink library the state space block but we don't need to use it because we can create a MATLAB function <coughs> which is based on the script notation which is similar to the spring script uh, creation in the normal MATLAB command window section okay and so if you want to use to the new script notation in here like this one you can build it you can write a specific code to represent the system dynamics model but in the MATLAB simulink we should use the MATLAB function block okay and so we can rename these things a system dynamic model in here and so if we write a specific code including the what the system dynamics and so we can create a output and input variable by using these diagrams and function blocks okay <coughs> and so <coughs> what about the our state space presentation we have the such kind of dynamic z dot is equal to a times z plus b times f <coughs> notice that the a is a matrix and b is a vector and z is also a vector okay and so if we try to create a model and so we should give the output of the z dots in here and so we need to input value z in here okay and so we need to create uh, some uh, time dependent parameter and so we need to get the outside value of the time which is specified by the MATLAB running machine okay and so function name can be rewritten the system dynamic or the some specific or special name which you want to create a any arbitrary name in here and so if we define this position in here and so our system models or our codes is included in this meta function block and so this code uh, generates a z dot value okay and so how can we translate the z dot into the z we should use the integration operation in here in MATLAB simulink the integration or integrator <coughs> should be added or can be used by the library okay and so if we add the integrator value in here which is the z dot value is the output of this this meta function and so the link can be created by between the two things meta function block and integrator and so the output of this integrator is the z okay and so we need to fit this uh, z value into the input of this meta function <coughs> okay in order to obtain the clock value of these things and so we can add the clock which is the gives or produce the time the current simulation time okay <coughs> and so if the z dot is a vector and so the integrator value or the initial value should be set or should be changed because in the initial condition one times one vector or matrices is included in the block parameters but if we write this kind of 
subtraction which means that 0 and 0 2 times 1 vector should be given in here and then we can create or we can generate 2 z value the which the former is the position value of the mass spring damper system and the latter is the velocity value of the mass spring damper damping system okay <coughs> and so how can we code the system dynamic model by using the method language and so we want to create an output or produce an output z dots in here and z dot is equal to a times z plus b times f and so at the end of this code we should write it down as the z dot must be equal to what a times z plus b times f okay but <coughs> a and b should be defined before this code is run okay and so the system matrices can be given in here a must be equal to what a is equal to zero dot zero comma one in the first row <coughs> and so in the second row minus k divided by m minus c divided by m because it is the a matrix in our system representation and so what about the b matrices b matrices is given by 0 1 divided by m value okay this is the b matrices or vector and so we need to define the f value now <clears throat> the f can be given by the 10 value because the system f is should be equal to what with this force value okay and so mm, we can also add some specific force value into this code and so if we obtain this f value from the outside and so we should link these two things into the this common point okay and so <coughs> ten force is fitted to the system dynamics model in the method function block okay but we have a missing part in here because the system parameters is not defined and so system parameters is the m is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 k equal to the 1 and so where did you where these coefficients come from these coefficients was calcul were calculated by our methodologic system in here like this one damping ratio spin coefficients and mass selection were calculated by using these things these two things shape selection and material selection in the real life application and so these values is calculated by using this formula with the specific experimental results and so we can choose this m is equal to the one c is equal to the two k is equal to the one okay and so the everything is given to the program and then we can build and run this program but the matlab is an which is an interpreter programming language and so we don't need to use the compiling session we just only run this program and then this program can give the production of this two model okay and so if we rerun this program <coughs> and we add the scope value in here and the program is run if there is no error okay and so is there is no error in here and so the scope value is given by using these things and so what about these two results there are two lines at this time 
because uh, in the first place the excess in the transfer function model there are one line and because the one output is generated by the transfer function but in the system dynamics model we have a vector in order to create a first order model and so the output is the both includes the position and velocity value of our system which is the mass spring damper system okay and so how can we split these two lines or these two states into the split part the position and velocity value the velocity value and position can be obtained by using the dmax yeah, block Dmax is used to what? The Dmax split into two lines into the each part is represented at a different output of this session like this one and so if we have this kind of Dmax and so we can obtain the position value in the first place or in the first output and so the velocity is represented by the in the second cable okay and so how can we collect the both two position value in here and so the position can be collected by using the max block max collect the or both the combine these two signals into the one signal which is represented or shown in the scope tree in here okay and so if we rerun this program and then the this scope should be investigate or search and so there are two signal in here but there is no difference between two signal and so if we have the system dynamic models and so we can use these techniques in order to mod model or in order to get the time response of this output variable and so we can use these things and or otherwise we can use this method simulating application but there are some basic differences in here or capability of in these things in the transfer function mode we can only use the what the linear system representation of the mass spring damping system but in real life application there is no linearity in any kind of system which is why we use the curve fitting technique but don't use it in the cardiovascular system research okay this is important and so we can use the nonlinear mass spring damping system in the state space representation form not the transfer function method and so if we are using the meta function block in here and then we can create a nonlinear pattern represent the coefficients or the system dynamics of the mass spring damper system okay like this one and so we have the t value in here m plus 1 plus 0 dot 1 times sine t can be given in here and so m is changed with time and so this state space can be considered as the nonlinear form of these things and so if we rerun this model and then <coughs> these two results is different okay and so it's more observable until the what the eight or seven should be added in here and so we can easily show that this uh, difference can be seen at the output of this system okay this is why we use a state space and this is why we use the method function block in here 
okay this is the general notation of the state space representation and so if you are using the state space representation and so we need to create uh, some first order pattern but we can use both the linear or nonlinear term of these things but we cannot set this transfer function as a nonlinear parameter okay this is why we use the method function block and this is why we use the state space representation of these things okay <coughs> this is the last subject of the or object of the our lesson i hope you enjoy it and i hope you learn about how to use the method simulink and how to create or establish or deduce the mathematical notation of mass spring damping damping system in the system dynamic approach and so in the next lesson or in the, we will uh, continue with the application of these things in the next session of this kind of applications okay